Hello everybody, how are we doing? Hope we are doing well. I hope everybody's having an awesome week so far. It's almost over, we're ready for the weekend. I am just so excited for this meal tonight. My son is super excited for it too. They're cute little, um, little meatloaf boats, you guys. And there's nothing fancy about it. It's just a regular meatloaf recipe, but it just so happens that we have some tools in the kitchen today to make little um, boats out of them, if you will. I am just grabbing these cheesy herb biscuits out of the oven that I made really fast that my four-year-old wanted. So just have some cheesy biscuits to go along with it tonight on my Pampered Chef cooking sheet. All right, so don't forget to share this video today, you guys. 40, 80, 120 live views gives you a Pampered Chef giveaway item at the end of the show. Hello, Jason. Regina, how are you? I'm glad you could make it, Jason. I am just sharing this live video and then we will get started, get it popped in the oven, and then today we will also um, do some mashed potatoes to put inside of these little boats, you guys. Hello, Jamie. How are you, Danielle? Hello. Just sharing this really quick. You guys can do so as well so that we can hit our live view goal and we can do some Pampered Chef giveaways. Um, if you are currently in any of my Pampered Chef um, parties that are going on right now, I will be happy if you win the giveaway to just add it to your Pampered Chef order that you may have already placed. So don't be shy um, to get entered into the giveaway. You just need to leave a reaction on the post while you're watching today and you will get entered into our giveaway. It is free just for watching. Participation is the only thing that you need to get entered into the giveaway. How awesome. Always Pampered Chef items now, you guys, now that I'm a Pampered Chef consultant. If you ever have any questions about Pampered Chef, about hosting a party, about um, coming a part of the team, just reach out to me at the end of the video and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Hello, Patricia and Gigi. Hello, Deneen. How are you? Eileen, hello. So just sharing these really quick, you guys, on in some cooking groups. Um, you guys know that cooking group, What's for Dinner, that I'm a part of. I just sent out a bunch of invites again today. We are teaming up once again to do a giveaway together on our show. So once they hit 4,000 on their page and when I hit 3,000 on my page, we are going to team up together and do a multi-part giveaway. Hello, Charity. I just knocked milk over. Have to watch later, going to make these soon. Eileen, hello from New York. I am making a mess on my counter already. Hello, Michelle, thank you for watching all the time. Carolyn, my family is doing well. We are staying healthy. And um, now that our weather is getting a little warmer, we're not driving each other as crazy. Chris, thanks for the thumbs up. You guys, to get entered into the giveaway, you just leave a reaction on the bottom of the post to get entered in to the giveaway at the end of the show. If we hit our 40, 80, or 120 live views, you will get entered into the giveaway. So we're gonna preheat our oven to 375. Eileen, I can definitely tag you, definitely, definitely tag you in the What's for Dinner um, cooking group. Awesome, Jackie, making these tomorrow. So there are um, specific Pampered Chef pans that help you make this. I don't have that pan yet. I can't wait to order mine, but I do have this one from Pampered Chef that I'm gonna use, and I can still create some sort of boat type thing with it. So I'm gonna be pushing my meatloafs into here and then using, silly enough, the um, bottom part of these sprinkles fit perfectly inside of this square to push and make just a little divot. So you guys can even use um, a cupcake tin if you have those instead, and then you're just gonna be pushing into the cupcake tin with something that's um, uh, circular. Carolyn, I'm glad you caught me as well. Ooh, shared in a Nebraska cooking group. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. We are going to get started, you guys. The oven is preheated to 375. I'm going to move my computer over until we need it for our giveaway. Um, I am sorry. I'm going to be touching my hair a lot today. It, um, I got it done today. And now it is so silky smooth that it is like slipping around everywhere into my face. And I, of course, can't find a hair tie. 
So I'm going to grab a hair tie so that I'm not touching my hair as much as I just was. And then we're going to come back, you guys. So make sure your ovens are preheated to 375. All right, here we go. Problem solved. Hair up in a clip. I'm going to wash my hands, and then we are going to get going. So... Like I said, you guys can use a cupcake tin, or if you guys have Pampered Chef and you guys want to use your Pampered Chef pans, um, they have ones that make these awesome little boats. Your neighbor gave you an air fryer. That's awesome. I don't, Jason, so I added them to my cart, um, but i kind of hesitating because I am hoping that I fast track to director and then I get a bunch of Pampered Chef stuff for free and I don't know if that's included in it. So I'm kind of just holding out on buying any new stuff until I figure out if I'm gonna make director this month or or what. Hello Buffy, Buffy, how are you? I am good, hello Nicole. Hope you've had a chance, maybe we can host a party for you this month. Made the corn fritters and they're a keeper, Susan, that's awesome. My husband really, really liked them and so did my brother, so that was good. I wasn't a super huge fan, they were good, but I'm thinking next time I want to maybe use like corn bread instead of corn meal to make them just a little sweeter for me. Hello, Patty. Yes, Jason, I want to fast track to director. I am trying so hard to do it. You just watch. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna combine our beef. So one and a half pounds of ground beef. I have just one pound here. Um, I don't buy my beef in one and a half pound um, packages. And so I'm just gonna stick with a pound. That'll be enough for me and my little family. So a pound and a half of ground beef into a bowl, you guys. You can use ground turkey if you prefer. Just washing my hands off again. So you can use ground turkey if you prefer for this recipe, okay? So we've got a ground ground beef in here. Now we wanna add in our bread crumbs. So I have just um, country style cubed stuffing and I'm actually just gonna pour some into my manual chopper and kind of chop it up into littler crumbs for this recipe. So we need about half a cup of bread crumbs. So I'm just gonna toss those in here like so and kind of just crunch them up. Hello, Roxy, how are you? Thank you, I really appreciate it. I am so excited to be doing this Pampered Chef stuff, to actually be making money doing what I really love, you guys, and that's cooking with you. So I appreciate all the support you guys always give me. Hello, Krista, how are you? Drizzled honey on the fritters, just because I do that on my corn muffins. I'm sure that was delicious. This poor thing. Up. Making my own breadcrumbs, you guys. Patty, this chopper is so awesome. All right. Getting them all chopped up. I'm also just going to kind of... So I'm going to do once about a half a cup in here. Like so. And we are going to mix this in, get it all nice and incorporated. Watching me and your list gets bigger, Patty. Come to me, we will throw you a party and get that list paid for. I have a host right now, you guys who has sold so much Pampered Chef in her party that she has over $500 of free Pampered Chef credit in her cart, plus like five half off items and 30% off her entire order just by hosting a party. She hasn't even spent any money yet and she has all that free stuff from Pampered Chef. Crystal, I am using my mix and chop from Pampered Chef. You guys know I love this. You're cooking ground beef when you're mixing with ground beef when you're smashing up potatoes this is the tool for you awesome larissa awesome awesome i hope you do follow along hello jenny crystal yes you do need this 
Yes, Brienne, I am going to, now that I am a Pampered Chef consultant, um, try to use 99% Pampered Chef stuff so that you guys don't have to um, be confused or search around. You guys know I'll be using Pampered Chef. Hello, thank you, Eileen. We are making, um, we are making little meatloaf boats that are gonna hold some mashed potatoes. So, which brings me to, I am going to make our mashed potatoes today in my pressure cooker. So, we are going to put the lid on, we're gonna lock it, and we're gonna change it to sealing. Over here, just change your little vent nib to seal. And then I'm gonna pressure cook on high for four minutes, just like that. And there's just some diced up potatoes in there. I just washed them and then covered them with water with a little bit of salt in it. And I'm gonna just pressure cook it for four minutes to get our mashed potatoes. Jason, I don't think that's true. I think you'll be surprised how many people in your life want Pampered Chef. Thank you. I love this grinder. Hello, Latoya, how are you? Paul, it's okay. Better late than never. I'm gonna add in just a little bit more of these breadcrumbs. Here we go. There we go. Get those nice and mixed up. Used it to smash graham crackers for a s'more crust. Hello, hello, Susan, four minutes and you have perfectly soft potatoes for mashed potatoes. That's it, with a pressure cooker, it seriously fraction of the time for you to cook things that normally would take 15, 20 minutes on the stove. Yes, Brianne, I do. That is always in the description of this video. The very bottom link of this page has my Pampered Chef party on there, you guys. Hello, Sue. Only have five orders and the show is almost over. Oh no, Jason. Did you invite everyone on your friends list? Cause that is the ticket. 500 is good though, Jason. That is really, really good. That is a successful party in my mind. But as long as you invited everyone on your friends list, you are good to go. Don't discriminate. You never know who all is gonna come out. Oh, Jackie, you just started. You're not even allowed to, to say you don't have any orders. Your party doesn't even start till Monday. All right, so now we are gonna add in a quarter cup of whatever barbecue sauce you want. If you don't wanna use barbecue sauce or you don't like it, you can use ketchup. They work just the same. This is my other measuring cup from Pamper Chef. You guys know I love my measure all cup. Just like that perfectly measured barbecue sauce and the edges are completely clean no barbecue sauce left behind so i'm going to add this in here get it nice and mixed in susan a pressure cooker is a pressure cooker if you've got one of the older ones um hopefully they work just as well but um the new ones are awesome too. And if you host a party from Pampered Chef, you could probably even earn one of the pressure cookers for free. Hello, Brent. Harmony, hello. Larissa, how do you start or do something like this? Just message me for details, you guys. I am all here to answer any questions, even if it's just an inquiry and you're not super serious. I am here to answer any questions you guys have. Just message me. All right, Megan, I do too. Paul, hello, good evening. Barbara, how are you? All right, so we have our barbecue sauce in here, our ground beef, our breadcrumbs, and then we need to add in the remaining meatloaf ingredients. So you are reserving a fourth of a cup of barbecue sauce to um, kind of based on top of our meatloaf when it's done. But inside of our meatloaf, we wanna add in a fourth of a cup of milk and an egg. Hello, Dee Dee. Thank you for the love. There we go. An egg. How cute is this little measuring cup, you guys? It's a quarter cup and it fits an egg perfectly. So I love that. All right, and then it says in these ingredients, it says to do a tablespoon of dried parsley, a teaspoon of onion powder, 
half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. But if you don't want to do seasoning by seasoning by seasoning, my mom actually recommends using this. The pre-packaged onion soup mix, my mom says, has the perfect combination of seasonings and spices in it. So you just add this in there, you guys, like so, and then just get it all mixed in. Sherry, you are not invisible. You're never invisible. Sherry, Sherry Demerce, I see you. You are not invisible. So I am here for you. I will answer any questions you have. Sherry, you're not invisible. Yes, Latoya sees you too. We all see you. So just like that, you guys, all of our meatloaf nice and mixed in and incorporated. Those onion spices with big flakes of onion and garlic in there. So yummy. If you want to add a little green to it still yet, you can add some parsley if you want some green in there. But the flavors and smells coming off of just that onion soup mix is phenomenal. All right. Here we go. Now we've got that all mixed in. Now we're gonna take our pan. Okay, Sharon, I'm glad you know we can see you. We are not ignoring you, we can definitely see you. We're gonna take our scooper. This is a large scooper, you guys, from Pamper Chef. And we're just gonna scoop some meatloaf into the squares or the cupcake container, or you can just make a regular meatloaf out of this, but obviously the bake time will be um, longer if you are using something that's bigger and thicker. So if you do little individual ones, the great thing about that is they can be done in 20 to 25 minutes. So no long wait time for your dinner to be ready. Right, Latoya, it's so quiet. One of them is taking a nap. The other one is outside with dad riding his bike. I'm telling you, this nice weather is a godsend for this family. We have been loving it. Yes, Barbara, stovetop stuffing would be delicious as well. There's a lot of yummy, yummy flavors in stovetop stuffing mixes. So then I'm just gonna take my spatula and smush this down. And then to create our little boat or our little um, area for our mashed potatoes to go, we are going to take the bottom of my sprinkles container. So if you want to buy through Pampered Chef and make this recipe, Pampered Chef actually makes a specific tool that you can press into a pan to create the boat type structure that we are going to be achieving today so they do take it and make it a little bit easier on you but I don't have those yet but I know I will soon but until I do I am just going to be silly and use the bottom of my sprinkles you need help with a corn casserole recipe I have a really good um slow cooker one nope this is not their ice cream scoop this is their cookie scoop their large scoop is what it's called. Um, their ice cream scoop looks like this. This is Pampered Chef's ice cream scoop. So they're a little different. They don't have the, the trigger on them. Yes, these freeze really well, you guys. Lipton savory herb and garlic packets are a great substitute. Yep, that's why I did the onion packet. The Lipton onion soup mix is what I use today, Pam. So very, very similar. Oh, Latoya, I'm so sorry they are gone for the summer. I don't know what I would do if my kiddos left me for long lengths of time. So we're going to just do our best with this sprinkle container. And just make little divots in the center of them. And that's going to hold our mashed potatoes. And then um, when they come out of the oven, you are going to press down on them again with your um, little, whatever you device you use to push them down. When they come out of the oven, you're going to push them down again to give them a really nice dent in the middle of them. Okay, so that's it. We are going to just bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. Keeping an eye on them because baking times will vary. So I'm actually going to set my timer to 15. Keeping an eye on them. Um, we do want them cooked all the way through. Um, 
but that doesn't always take as much time. All right, you guys, get your reactions out there. I was hoping our potatoes would be done, but they haven't come up to pressure yet. So make sure you guys leave your reactions on the post today to get entered into the giveaway. We're doing one giveaway today. Patricia, I missed one. Mm, kind of did, didn't I? I will just pop this out right here. Thank you, Patricia. There we go. And now I'm gonna wash off the bottom of my sprinkles container because we don't need raw meat on our sprinkles. All right, all clean. Don't wanna leave that all sparkly. Corn casserole has Jiffy Mix in it. Yes, it does, and it's so delicious. Hello, Timmy. How are you? We're making little meatloaf boats today. I'm sure Evelyn would think these were so fun and cute. Little meatloaf boats. All right, so get those reactions out there, you guys, and get those questions. If you guys have any questions today about Pampered Chef or any of the tools I use today, please feel free to ask your questions. I am here to answer for you. Um anything that you guys have today. Any questions about the recipe, any questions about the mashed potatoes, how to make them in the Instapot, just feel free to reach out you guys with any kind of question. So I will show you. This is the mini loaf pan that this recipe is made for. So super fun little mini loaf pan from Pampered Chef. It's $27 and then you can get these little boat presses or what they're called. So you can do them with granola bars and put like cream cheese in them or peanut butter or cakes like that, um, anything you want. And you just use those little guys to create little masterpieces. Um, let's look. I can order from you on the link on this. I mean, yes, there should be a link at the bottom of the page that allows you to cook in an open show or to buy in an open show that I have. So it doesn't look like the small or the large scoops come in a set together. They do sell them separately. So there's the small scoop and the large scoop, $19 for the small, $20 for the medium and 21 for the large. So there are different sizes. Um, I use my medium and large scoops the most. Um, I've only used my small one once to make little truffles for the inside of my peanut butter cookies. Hello, Laura. How are you? All right, you guys, it looks like we are ready to do our giveaway today. Remember, you guys are going to be Pampered Chef giveaway, so it'll be worth it sticking around for the giveaway today. I am just going to clean off my mix and chop, and I'm going to use my mix and chop to mash up my potatoes to put in our yummy meatloaf, folks, you guys. Just get those last reactions out there on the post so you can get entered into the giveaway today. Pampered Chef giveaway. There we go. Got that all cleaned off too for our potatoes. So Carolyn, it does say in this recipe that a little bit of grease will form on the top of your meatloaf. All you have to do is take a little paper towel and blot on the top of the meatloaf before you um, smear your extra barbecue sauce on top. So that's a great, great question. Um, the size I used today actually was the large scoop, was the large cookie scoop is what I used today. Yes, I love my Pampered Chef, you guys. I know it's probably gonna get a little tiring hearing me talk about it all the time, but this is a way for me to support my dream is to be a Pampered Chef consultant and still cook for you guys. So um, I am just gonna be Pampered Chef all the time, all the time, all the time. Hello, Marianne, welcome your first time here. Our little meatloaf boats are in the oven right now cooking. We are um, doing some Instapot potatoes right now. Super easy in the Instapot, you guys. All you have to do, scrub your potatoes, cut them into quarters or pieces. So a big rusted potato, I did about eight pieces of it, cut it into little pieces, stuck it inside of my Instapot, and I filled it with water so that you couldn't see the potatoes um, 
above the water anymore, added a little bit of salt, stuck it in my pressure cooker, turned it to sealing, and we're only pressure cooking for four minutes, you guys, and then your potatoes will be completely done. Hello, you're welcome, Carolyn. All right, I'm just gonna refresh the page one more time, and then we will do our giveaway. Carolyn Taryn, if you wanna pick one number between one and 10, so we can do our giveaway. If you want to pick a number between one and 10, and then we will do our giveaway. And then what I think I'm going to do is when my bolts come out of the oven, I will record the process of pushing them down, um, basting them with the barbecue sauce, um, making my mashed potatoes. Um, and I have a super fun tool to use woo, to use for my mashed potatoes to be able to squirt them into the boats nicely. So this is an awesome little tool. This fits an entire box cakes mix with all the ingredients that it needs. This plunger right here, so you put the box cake mix in here with the oil and the eggs and the water and then you put this lid on and it has a little whisk type attachment to it. Put the lid on and then you go like this until all your ingredients are incorporated. Super awesome for kids to use, so easy for them, but I'm gonna be using it for my mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna mash my potatoes up, add a little bit of butter and some seasonings, and then I'm gonna put them into this. And then once I am ready, I'm going to put this onto the bottom, and I'm gonna put this in here. And what this allows me to do is there's a little hole right here, and with this handle, it pushes the batter out. So if it's batter, you can make perfectly um, perfectly portioned cupcakes. There's a little portioning dial on the side for how big or how little you need your cupcakes to be. So for me, it's gonna determine how big or how little um, mashed potatoes I want my boat. And then I'm just gonna use this and it's gonna push the potatoes out into my little meatloaf boats. Awesome, you guys. Yes, Melissa, they do. They cook very, very well in the pressure cooker. Um, soup, broth, meat, stew, beans, chili, poultry, rice, multigrains, porridge. Um, you can steam anything you want, broccoli, cauliflower, anything like that. The pressure cooker is where it's at. Yes, Susan, exactly like that. This little gadget, you guys, let me make sure I get the name completely right. Um, because you guys know I just started, so I don't want to mess up and give you the incorrect information. Um, but this awesome little guy is called our batter mix and dispense. And we also have a smaller one that is made for whipped cream. So you just add a cup of whipping cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla into this little guy and mix it up. Just easy for a kid to use. Mix it up, make your own whipped cream at home. Super awesome, you guys. Yes, Danielle, it is Pampered Chef. All the items I am using today are all Pampered Chef. Um, the whisks, the um, bowl, the whisks, the cookie scoop, the mix-in scoop, my measuring cup, my manual food processor, all of my measuring spoons and cups are all from Pampered Chef. Um, the only thing I'm using today that isn't Pampered Chef is my pressure cooker. I can't wait to get my Pampered Chef one, you guys. Yes, you guys. Anybody that needs anything, questions answered. Opportunity to become a consultant with me answered. Anything, you guys, don't be shy. There's no pressure. I will not bug you past responding to your questions. Um, I just want to spread the awesome news about how awesome Pampered Chef is. It makes your life in the kitchen 10 times easier. Trust me. All these little nifty tools are so worth um, the, the price that, that you pay with Pampered Chef. I did, Terry. I didn't wear my apron today. I was slacking. I didn't pull it out of the cupboard before I started my video, but I didn't get too messy today. So at least I didn't make a mess to regret my decision. So I'm getting all the names entered into for the giveaway, you guys. Yes, Susan, whipped coffee even. Um, we have a cold brew coffee system that you can purchase. Um, we really, really have everything. Um, even if you just want to look through the items, just click the link at the bottom of the description of this post, you guys, and you can just look through the items. No pressure to buy anything. Um, if you have questions about an item that you can't find of mine, I will be putting the link for all the items I use today in the comment section of this video so that you can easily find them on my website if you just want to learn um, more about them, see videos of them being used, or um, just to check out the price. 
Yes, Danielle, if you have a um, if you have a current order that's open on a party, I can always add to your order. Danielle, if you wanna order or even if you wanna host your own party and get some more items for free, Danielle, I am here for you. Um, the, the sky is the limit, you guys. All right, I didn't see if Carolyn picked a number. I didn't see. So, Carolyn Taryn, if you picked a number, will you um, comment the number written out, please, so that it stops the filtering? Do I get a discount if I buy from my website? Um, Harmony, if you buy anything from my Pampered Chef link, I get commission on those orders, you guys. Super awesome. Way bigger commission than I was ever making on my Amazon link. So if you buy anything from me, I do com get commissions on it. Harmony, if you want discounted product, I recommend you host a party with me and we can get you um, up to 30% discount on your entire order. You can get up to five half off items and you can get, I mean, over $400 worth of free product credit when you host a party with me, depending on how well it goes. Exactly, Bernie. Um, the way Bernie says it is when you're buying Pamper Chef, it may seem spendy, but in other words, your husband probably spends more than that on tools and stuff for around the house or the yard or even play stuff, uh, ATVs, four-wheelers, things like that, where you guys have to cook dinner in the kitchen seven days a week. It is totally worth it. Carolyn picks five. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Harmony, so I get um, discounts as a consultant. I get discounts on product. Um, right now is May free for all and June free for all, which means that you earn all the fall products that they're gonna release for free if you do well on your commissions. Um, I also get products in the mail for doing really well as a salesperson. So today, I for selling $1,250 worth of stuff, which was a cinch, you guys, I got this eight inch non-stick skillet just for selling and doing my job. So not only did I get the commissions, but I get free Pampered Chef stuff on top of getting discounts for any additional things that I need. Um, I can get the air fryer for half off, um, other things for half off, you guys. It's uh, seriously the best choice I ever made becoming a consultant. And if you wanna be a part of my team, I will give you all the details to do so, and we can rock this together, you guys. All right, so here we go. The fifth name that we pulled today will be our winner. Number one, Barbara. Number two, Crystal. Number three, Cindy. Number four, Jackie. And number five, Latoya Davis. Congratulations, Latoya. Send me your shipping information, your email, your phone number, and I will get something sent over to you from Pampered Chef. Um, if you guys need any details, please, please, please reach out to me. You're not bugging me. I am here to answer any questions you have about anything regarding my show, Pampered Chef, anything like that. My potatoes are cooking. We got four minutes left for these suckers to cook. I have only one minute left on our 15 minute timer for our meatloaf. So let's take a look at those, you guys. See how they are cooking? They look delicious, you guys. I'm not sure how to tell if they're done. So we are going to kind of test drive this to see if we can figure out if they are done or not. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my Pampered Chef thermometer and I'm gonna turn it on, and we are gonna test this meat to see if it is cooked all the way. So it's an instant read thermometer, you guys. Oh yeah, we are done cooking. I'm just gonna try one more spot. Oh yeah, they are done, you guys. I will pull them out of the oven, and I will show you guys this the little bit of grease that sits on the top of them is no problem at all. I am just going to take just a little paper towel and blot the tops of these guys. Yes, congratulations, Latoya. All right, all right, all right. You are welcome. So we're just gonna blot the top of these, get some of that grease off of there. And then we're gonna go through 
And we're gonna quickly push down on these suckers again, you guys, to make sure they have a nice indent in them for our mashed potatoes. So I'm just gonna go through, soak off the grease, just like that. Ta-da! And then we are gonna take them, and using my little basting brush, I'm going to just brush on some more barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna take this and put some in here and just paint the tops of these guys with some barbecue sauce. So yummy, yummy. You can use as much barbecue sauce or as little barbecue sauce. Or like I said, if you don't like barbecue sauce and you wanna just use ketchup, that works too, you guys. Anything, um, Barbecue sauce I like a lot because it's got that brown sugar in there that really is really nice and complements meatloaf really well. Ta-da! We've got one minute left on our potatoes and we're gonna do just a quick release on those. You don't have to do um, a slow release or a natural release on potatoes. Ta-da! So yummy, you guys. Delicious. And it's got just a little thing to hang on the edge of your bowls so it doesn't slip all the way in and you can't grab it back out again. Yes, Latoya, inbox the uh, Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page and send me your information, your email, your phone number, and things like that. You glazers with ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. That sounds really yummy, too. Yummy, yummy, you guys. So delicious. All right. I'm going to have to wash my sprinkles off again. So here they are, you guys, our little meatloaf boats. All right, we're going to slide over. Here's our pressure cooker. Always be very, very careful, you guys. We are going to release the pressure on this very carefully. Eileen, it was scary at first, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to make sure this pin right here drops completely down. And that's how you know it's okay and it's safe to open this back up. Grab some butter for our potatoes. And then I'm using salt, pepper, and then um, a garlic lover's seasoning. We have that with Pampered Chef as well. We have a garlic seasoning that I highly recommend. Oh no, Harmony, it made you jump. That's not what I meant to do, I'm so sorry. guys it just rinsed off my bowl so that I can throw our potatoes in here to get them all mashed up thank you for sharing Molly love my instant pot too Brett love my pressure cooker hello Arlene might be cooking this tomorrow Patty says um so Latoya what you do is when you are looking at my page there should be different categories like posts about photos, things like that. You're going to go over to the community section or the about section 
and you scroll down and in the about section, it should say contact me or message me and you should be able to click that and then send me your information. If I get off this video and I haven't heard from you, I can try and reach out to you so that we can um, get your shipping information. Thank you, Janice. So here are our meatloaf boats, you guys. Super yummy. And now we are just getting our mashed potatoes ready. I'm just gonna stick them in this bowl. So what I'm gonna do is come over here. I'm just gonna take a knife and just do a big heaping chunk of butter. Just like that. Just waiting for this pin to drop on these taters. Then we're gonna use our mix and chop to just really chop up our potatoes nice and smooth with some seasonings in them. Slowly, always, 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 you guys, no matter how long it takes, be careful um, and wait for this pin to drop. Susan, I get them from all over the place. Pinterest, um, I've been really um, perusing the Pampered Chef recipes. So on that link that is in the bottom of this page, when you hit the Shop Now button, there is a category for recipes, and you can search any type of recipe. So this, um, this week, I asked my mom what I should make, and she said meatloaf. So I typed meatloaf into the re recipe section for Pampered Chef, and this is what I got was these... Um, these little boats which is super cute so that's where I found it you guys look at these four minutes in the instapot and they are just melting apart just like the butter I stuck them on so we're just gonna do some pepper and some salt thank you Terry for trying to help her I can always go to her when this video is done and make sure I get her shipping stuff at least I know she's here and she's present so she's not trying to pull one over on me so I know she's here. Patty, I will look into that. A Pampered Chef taco ring. Mmm, that sounds cool. All right, so we're just mixing these up with all the ingredients. I'm flinging them all over the table. Let this butter melt in here. I am just gonna stick the rest of the butter. Don't judge me, you guys. None, no one here is on a diet. My kids need all the extra calories they can get with how much they run around. So salt, pepper, butter. You can even do ranch dressing. You can do um, sour cream, whatever you like in your potatoes. Yes, Deb, I left the skin on. Most of the nutrients in a potato, all the vitamins and stuff are in the skin. So I sure as enough stuck those skins in there, you guys. There we go. Potatoes, just like so. I'm going to add just a little bit of milk just to kind of loosen them up so that hopefully they will work in my little batter dispenser. So milk, salt, pepper, seasonings, butter. They smell amazing. Ta-da! Just like that. So now, this little guy that I taught you guys about. Yes, butter is a must, you guys. Sour cream to the potatoes, and I will drop in in five. Yep, cream, butter, you guys, sour cream, butter, anything you guys want in your potatoes works perfect. There is no wrong way to make potatoes, you guys. Maybe I guess the only wrong way to make potatoes is to not add anything to them at all. That is the only foul in my book if you don't add at least a little bit of seasonings or butter or something to your potatoes. All right, so let's try this, you guys. I'm gonna just stick it in my little batter dispenser and give it a whirl. Hopefully there's no big chunks that are gonna stop it from dispensing. Oh yeah, they are good, you guys. Yes, cream cheese, you guys. There are so many yummy things that you can put in potatoes. You haven't had mashed potatoes in a while, Arlene? That's crazy. We have them at least once a week in this house. So let's try this, you guys. Put it on the biggest setting. <laughs> the 
There it goes, you guys. So I'm just setting it on top, pushing the little squeezy button. There are our potatoes. Whoop! I took the whole meatloaf with me on that one, you guys. Try not to touch it to the meatloaf. How fun, you guys. Worked out exactly how I was hoping it would. You can also choose to pipe your potatoes onto your little guys. But just like that, you guys. Awesome. My family, the more potatoes, the better. <laughs> Can't even see the meatloaf anymore. Ta-da! Basically used all the potatoes I had. I just did two full-size russet potatoes. <laughs> yes, Dad, THC in the potatoes. Awesome, Latoya, perfect. Look how neat that was, you guys. No potatoes left behind. All squeezed down through the little machine. Awesome. All right, you guys, message me if you have any um, questions. I'm going to put the link for all the things that I used today in the comment section of this video so that you guys can get yourself some fun little tools. It's silly, but really my life is making food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my kiddos, so why not make it fun, right? Awesome. So if you want to join me and become a Pampered Chef Consultant, hit me up today, you guys. We have some awesome deals going for May to become a consultant. Ooh, cheese. I'm definitely going to put some cheese on here. Thanks, guys. Have a nice night.